What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be doing a gameplay with what's one of the most interesting cards in the new mystery set. And before we get on to it, lads, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're into the last 1,000 subscribers before a quarter of a million, lads. If we can somehow manage to hit that by the end of this month, that would be absolutely, absolutely insane. We're close, lads. We are so, so close. If you guys are new to the channel, and enjoy my team content subscribe but anyway now let's get on to the video so let's let's have a look right here let's have a look at where at the player so the player is Malcolm Brogdon so Malcolm Brogdon is like 20 ish KMT which is a little bit steep I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit steep about like 19 for my one but it is a little bit steep at around 20k especially for a diamond card but like he's good man especially on this gen i wouldn't use him on current gen he is not really a current gen player but on next gen i mean this guy whatever it is this guy has got it so he has got 28 halves 20 gold buds his halves include Clamps, Tardis Defender, Trapper, Half Blinders, which is big, Half Deep Threes, Circus Threes, which is range. He has got Half Handles for Days, Half Quick for His Step, Half Unpluckable, Half Sniper slash Flexible. He's also got Slippery Off Ball, Clutch Defender, Tireless Shooter, Floor General, as well as 20 Gold Badges, Gold Intimidator, Gold Heart Crusher, which is irrelevant. Well, actually, no, like, they buffed Heart Crusher on next gen. Like, I don't understand it. Like, Heart Crusher is one of the most broken badges ever in my team. Like, if you if your center blocks two shots, or if your center gets blocked twice by your opponent's team center, the other four players on the floor go cold, including the point guard, just because a different player got blocked a few times. And then the fact is it didn't work on next gen and they buffed it on next gen. Like they need to remove Heart Crusher next year. It is the most ridiculous badge. It's literally like a second hand embarrassment badge. Like the other four players get second hand embarrassment because one of their players keeps turning the ball over, so they're all go they all go cold. But uh 97 3 95 mid 97 free throw 75 driving dunk 40 standing dunk 91 ball handle 95 passing accuracy 95 steel 95 perimeter defense 94 speed so again everything except for driving dunk which is only a 75 he's got it pretty much perfect so let's have a look at what this guy is all about in game because it all really depends with him on how his release is that is quite a big thing on just how the release is for this card because it's Iggy base on very quick and I know Iggy base is okay on quick I don't like it on normal but he still has to go dribble stop uh, not bad hot zones from everywhere like I know I'm struggling to green but like that's not the uh, you can tell if release good whether or not you're green with it yeah, that's nice. I like that release. He's got the Pro 3 behind the back as far as I'm aware as well. Yeah, so we can do the Pro 3 into the Curry. Oh my god, did I just miss it? The like the DBG signature move. You're going down the left-hand side of floor. Pro 3 into it. Oh my god, I can't even do I can't even do the DBG signature anymore. Can't even do a DBG signature. Can you just do it behind the back, please? I used to be better at this. Why? I'm pressing buttons! Is my controller broken or something? He didn't do anything that time. There we go. That's the move. That's the DBG special. But, um... Bowl Bowl, that's literally your open every time of that. I like the release. Let's just check out his dunk animations still. I mean, they're basic ones. I mean, if he doesn't get blocked even with a 75 dunk, that's fine. Like, he can still go by people and he doesn't necessarily need contacts. But he can go and dunk. 75 is kind of a little bit low for getting contacts, but still. If you can start hitting shots with this release, it's weird. It looks like he's like spazzing and like he's kind of moving left to right. It's a really weird like looking of his shot. Like his body is just shaking, which is the weirdest thing ever. Like let's have a look at the replays and see it in slow motion. Like, am I just looking at something weird? Like there's just a load of weird move, extra movements in the shot. Like, look, his body's like, it moves. It's going up, and then it goes down, and then up again. It's just, 
In slow motion, it doesn't look as bad, but it just looks really awkward in full motion. I don't know, it's just a really awkward animation in game that, like, isn't humanly possible. Uh, that a player would shoot like that in real life, but it's still not a bad release by any means. He's still going to be a little bit... He's still not going to be a great dunker, but I like his behind the back. And I still think he has the potential to be a really good card. Let's see. Does he get much space out this? A little bit. Still, though, he should be... Should be a pretty great point guard with that hop line as bad anyway. So now let's green one three. And now let's get on to the game. Fingers crossed he's alright. I don't see him. I do not see him replacing Darren Williams in the squad. That's the thing. I think if he had an 80 dunk, maybe. But man, Darren Williams is chicken. Darren Williams is absolutely chicken. So, I don't think he's going to be replacing Darren Williams. We've got we got our Bobby Jones in. Basically, we had been using the dime, the pink dime Bobby Jones as like our defensive specialist to play around um, the guy running the gameplay. However, um, obviously, we just got the other Bobby Jones because well, we had the MT. So, let's see who we're playing against here. Caruso, Eddie Curry, and... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, green that. That's a shot and a half. I just mistimed it. Oh, we got him crapped. Blinders. That's Hall of Fame blinders for you. That is Hall of Fame blinders. He's there literally making contact with the left side of his body, and it's green. That is what you call blinders. Run him off. Dive. I don't care what he does. He's passing. Oh, it's good defense. Dive at that. Great defense, Eddie Curry. That's a late contest. Man, that's actually front. That's front. Front contest. Bobby Jones be better. Come on, Ty said you're the 10th best player in the game. You gotta be better than that. Oh, cr oh! No, that was a bump from nowhere. That wasn't even a bump. That's a steal. Good job, Bobby Jones. Now you're starting to look like a top 10 player in this game. Oh, he just got stripped twice. He just got stripped twice right there. How does he have cold ring? I get it, he got stripped twice, but he hit a three pointer. Surely hitting a three should counteract cold ring. Okay, we're good. We're good. Explosive, I can't. We missed it. Still have a route to the basket. It's a dot. That's a make. Surely three points and an assist, and he, we're six two up, and he's still on cold ring. Come on, die. Unlucky. Why did I say deny not, instead of dive? Attack, attack, attack. Oh, split him, split him, split him. Step back, Curry. Come on, explosive, or that works as well. And it's a nice layup there by Brogdon. Let's go. We're off cold ring anyway now, thankfully. Which is quite big. He just chucked up. <laughs> oh, this game sucks sometimes. This game really sucks sometimes. You are actually joking me. Got him on our back. Crabbed. And that's green. Good shot there by Brogdon. There we go. That's a big, big shot. Especially with hot blinders, even if he did get a little bit of side coverage, which is the best he's getting, it makes no odds with this with that badge. That's defense, Bobby Jones. Let's go. Come on, do the explosive. There we go. Right to the basket. And glitch through just as Winslow. That works. That works perfectly. If you wanna if you wanna summon some weird magic skills and be invisible and glitch through somebody. I'll take that. Good job, Bobby Jones. Too deep. Yeah, it's not a good shot. Albeit, he just hit a half-court shot, so I can't really say I didn't deserve to make that. But it was too deep. Just make him pass. It's a good foul by Bobby Jones. And we've set right back up on our men. That's bad by me. I should have got that steal. Someone's not going to press circle or try or um, L1 on that. you got to get a steal. All right, Brogdon. This is you. Putting high pressure on Brogdon. 
Which I actually think is smart by him. Can you just do it behind the back? I don't know what it is with Brogdon. He just won't do it behind the back. But we got him on our back, which is important, quite important. Shoot that. Blinders. Is that really a, an 80%? I thought that was a blinder shot. Dive at that. Nope. All right. Let's just... Let's just stop trying to go from behind the backs and just walk up the floor. Oh my god, stop getting stripped. Get him on our back. Good pass. Should have shot that though. I should have definitely shot that. Alright, he's not getting take. Dive. That's two of us. That's defense. Oh my god, this guy's defense. He's that's only a second foul, and his defense consists of spamming square. On our back. That's on our side. That's green. Come on. That's not a contest. That's a blinder shot. Like he is show this video is where Malcolm Brogan shows the power of the blinders badge. The amount of ridiculous shots I've taken that he screened with barely any contest, purely because of blinders. That's green. Oh yeah. Chicken man, let's go. We got used to that release and he greened. Did he green every open shot in that? I think he may have greened every open. Couple of bad turnovers, but not bad performance by him. Not a bad performance at all. Malcolm Brogdon appears to be a really decent card. The only problem is, like, is he better than Darren Williams on this gen? I wouldn't use him on current gen. Like, I wouldn't use... A lot. There are a lot of cards I wouldn't use on current gen. Because, again, I would rather not use a steady player than use a steady player. But that's this is coming from somebody who can't green to save his life on current gen. So, like, having steady is a big, big negative for me. Because, again... I can't green, so it's it's a huge, huge detriment to me having a badge that nerfs your, your white percentage. So, I do think that blind is such a positive on next gen, but it's also a negative on current gen. I'm like, I will not suggest for anyone to use him on current gen. I could, If you want to use a player like him on current gen, use Katina Mobley. But if you're on next gen, I mean, he's cheaper than Darren Williams. He is cheaper than Williams. Which is something. It's like, is he that much better than Dinwiddie? I like Dinwiddie a lot more than most people like Dinwiddie. Like, I'm putting him up anyway, just in case he goes up in price after this. But he's good. I think his price right now is too high. I think his price right now of like 20, 19k, that is too high for the guy. But I don't think he's a bad card at all. I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of success with him. I think he's easily one of the top 15 point guards on next gen. But I mean, is he much better than Dimwitty? I really don't know. I really don't know. Is he that much better than Dimwitty, who's got like half blinders as well, half clamps, half quick for his step? Is an inch taller. Yes, he doesn't have as good a release, but he has an 85 driving dunk. And Dinwiddie's like 5k MT. He's like 5, 6k MT. So, like, I don't know if I can recommend Brogdon over a Dinwiddie, honestly. He's fine, though. Like, again, he's good enough that if you're a Pacers fan and you want to use a diamond point guard, he's probably the best in the game. Like, on next gen, he's maybe the best diamond point guard in the game, him or Justice Winslow. He's one of the best diamond cards in the game, period. He's a really good player. So, again, if you're a big Brogdon fan, if you're a Pacers fan, and you want to build like a Pacers team, you actually have a pretty nice team if you've got Moss Turner. Because bonus is good, Brogdon's good. There's a lot, he's got a lot of positives. The problem is that like a 20k MT, like that's more expensive than what you're paying for like Corver. That's more expensive than what you're paying for Corver. And he's not as good as Corver. I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, on next gen, he's better than Crusoe. He's better than Crusoe on next gen, but he's also more expensive. Wait a minute, is Bull Bull over 100? Nah, Bull Bull's under 100k. But, um, yeah, he's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, but I think 20k is a little bit too expensive. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.